Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to add a second or third NVMe SSD to your PC. If you guys are familiar with this channel, you'll know that I edit a lot of videos and therefore I require a lot of storage. I literally just picked this up from Best Buy. This is a Western Digital Black 4 terabyte NVMe SSD and we'll be installing this to my third M.2 slot on the tower. My motherboard already came with standoffs for the M.2 slots, but in my hands here, I have a screwdriver and a screw that I'm gonna to use to secure the drive. If you, don't have some, if you don't have this already, you can order a simple M.2 SSD standoff kit or something similar from Amazon. Lastly, before we get started with the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Alright guys, so I have the drive right here. I'm gonna simply unbox it first. So we'll go ahead and start with that. Yeah, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but here is the actual drive itself. So I have the drive, I have the screwdriver, and I have the screw. And next up, I'm gonna turn off my PC. Alright guys, so I've moved the computer case just enough for me to be able to access the glass panel here. Now, before I actually work on the computer, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna flip the switch on the bottom and back of the case. So we're gonna power it off and I'm going to unplug it as well. Okay, so the PC is now fully disconnected from power. Be sure to turn it off again before you do that. Next up, it's time to remove this glass covering. Now I'm gonna reposition the camera just a little bit so you guys can see exactly where that last M.2 slot is. That was a little bit tricky to set up there actually because I still have the PC upright but I did get you guys a pretty decent angle down there of the slot in which we're installing the drive to. So if I look at the end of the slot, that's gonna be right here. There's a notch there, and that notch corresponds to the actual drive that I have. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the drive, and as gently as I can, I'm going to place it in that slot. And I'll just give it a little push. Be, um, always be gentle as you're installing PC components. It goes without saying. <coughs> and now we just have to secure it down to the standoff, just like the one to the left. All right, so I've placed the screw on the end of my screwdriver and kind of stuck it on there. And now I'm gonna push the drive down with one hand, just like that. And I'm gonna slowly that screw lined up and I'll start turning to my right and then I'm just gonna slowly tighten it until I get a little bit of pressure just like that and that's it guys the drive is installed I'm gonna go ahead and turn back on the computer and put it back together All right, guys, so we are back on the computer here. I'm going to pull up Windows key and E together to open my file explorer. And if we click on this PC, we notice that we have a few different drives here, none of which are the drives that I just installed. So while we're done with the physical installation, we still have to do a few final steps on the computer, but not to worry, they're nice and easy. First, hit Windows key and X together. This is going to bring up the alternative start menu. And from here, we're going to click disk management. Now, the disk that we just installed is now popping up and it's prompting us to initialize the disk. In case you don't see this, we can simply pull up this menu by right-clicking on that new disk, which is this one here, and click Initialize Disk. GPT would be the most appropriate in this case, so I'll hit OK. Now this time we're gonna right-click again and make sure it's in this section here. So we'll right-click and hit New Simple Volume. This is gonna pull up a wizard, so let's follow along. We'll hit Next. I want the entire volume size to be allocated in this partition, so I'll leave that as default. We can choose any letter we like. I'm going to call this the D drive. I'll click next. Now I'm going to choose to format the volume. This is a necessary step for Windows to actually store data on it as an internal drive. I'm going to change the volume label to editing as this is going to be my main working drive. And I'll hit next. Lastly, I'll hit finish. All right, and finally, if I go to Windows key and E, again, to pull up the file explorer, and I go to this PC, 
Now our new drive is recognized and we have the entire drive empty and free to use. Another way I can recognize my storage is by hitting Windows key and I together, clicking under system and then storage, click underneath advanced, click disks and volumes, and here we can also monitor those drives. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about installing those drives in your computer, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.